It is a very chilly morning here in Sydney. I am down at the harbour. The iconic harbour bridge right there. On a rather cloudy day. It's not looking as spectacular as it normally would. But still, it's a nice sight. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video because uh, I had a conversation with someone yesterday and it reminded me of an experience that I had uh, early on in my business journey. And that was when I was going to a lot of networking events, I was meeting a lot of people and I had met this accountant and we'd organized to have a coffee and discuss business a bit. I'd discuss my business, they would discuss uh, a bit about their accounting and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And, and as I was driving to this meeting, uh, they called me and said, hey, you know, something's come up, I, I can't get to the cafe, can you just come to my friend's apartment and we'll have coffee there with them instead. I was like, well, that's, that's a bit weird, but sure, okay, I'm, I'm almost there. And so I drove to this apartment, and as I uh, arrived at the doorstep, there was a welcome mat with the logo of a competitor to my company. And <laughs> I, immediately, I felt like I, I'd just been conned into something. I was being ambushed to go and take a look at this other company. And so they open the door and they're wearing badges, things like, I can help you lose weight, um, ask me how. And I just thought, well, I'm not your right market. I'm not trying to lose weight, <laughs> not, not, not ever. Um, and so it just immediately, it had destroyed my trust. And whatever it was that they were going to show me inside that apartment, it, it didn't matter how good it would be. I would say no to it because of that immediate negative first impression. That was a lesson that always stuck with me. There are a few other lessons that I learned from that experience. The, the other one was that the place was a mess. It was completely just chaos in there. And they were sitting down, uh, they made me a tea. They were all very pleasant and lovely and I can't fault them on, on how they interacted with me. They weren't pushy in the slightest. They were asking lots of questions. But the environment that they were in, the way they presented themselves as well, was just chaos. It was, it was just a mess. And they were presenting to me uh, a pathway to financial freedom, supposedly. And the, it, it seemed incongruent with the way they were living their lives um, after having conducted this business for nearly three decades. And I just thought that it, it, seemed, it seemed the opposite of the message they were trying to, to sell. They were speaking negatively about the company that I'm partnered with and it just, it doesn't make sense. If you meet someone who is with another company, working with your competitor in, in whatever field you're in, it doesn't make sense to immediately try and put that company down, uh, try and say, well, I heard this person say this about it. That's immediately going to get someone's back up. So they just sabotage themselves on so many levels and I am by no means perfect and I have been extremely eager to share what I have uh, with people before and perhaps I have uh, done it in a way where people felt uh, maybe a little bit, I hope never like the, the level that I felt when I showed up to that apartment, but maybe a little bit like that, like, oh, this is something different to what I thought we were going to be talking about or this is something different to what I thought we were going to be doing. And I apologize for that because uh, certainly it, it's a work in progress and sometimes you can be so excited about something and so eager to share it with someone because you know they would be amazing at it. But it doesn't mean you should ever resort to uh, trying to trick someone into meeting with you, trying to manipulate them to uh, take a look at something. because. Ultimately, what I find in my business is that I'm only ever looking for people who are open-minded. I'm only ever looking for people who are open and looking for something. Uh, if I invite someone to something and they say no straight off the bat without even knowing what it is, with just some very surface level judgment of what this is, then they're not the right person, at least not in this moment. It doesn't mean they won't become the right person later on because everyone changes, we go through different uh, phases in our lives, we have different needs at different times and as a result I will follow up and check in with people, but in that moment, if they're not open to taking a look, then there's nothing more that I can do. 
other than saying something along the lines of I'm totally comfortable with you, uh, you know, this not being for you, for you saying no to this. But what I'm uncomfortable at is, is you never knowing what it actually is. And so uh, that gives people a chance to actually take a look and to be open-minded. But um, if they're still not in that instance, then there's not a lot you can do. Just uh, move on. There's plenty of people in the world. There's uh, a lot of wonderful people waiting to talk to you, waiting to hear from you and looking for exactly what you potentially have for them. So you don't need to trick, you don't need to con, you don't need to, to manipulate or angle and position. You can just share and you can share openly and freely and you can use better words and you can try and get better uh, every single interaction that you have. So that's my little, uh, well, six minute story here on Sydney Harbour on a cloudy day. Ciao, guys.